Okay, we are back today with a new product from Norm. So let me just unwrap this real quick. So behind all this foam here, let's see, we have a little baggie and we have two little light strips. So these are actually rear trunk lights that go right under where your parcel shelf sits and will brighten up that back area even more so than the abstract ocean lights. If you guys still want those abstract ocean lights, I have a Model S install video, a Model X install video. Go check them out. Links are in the description along with a 20% off discount code knocking off like 35 bucks off a complete light set for a Model S. Go check it out. But back to these. So these will just improve it even more so. They go in a different location. They are not replacements. They are in addition. So they have several ways you can mount them. And by several, I mean two. They have included here are some 3M double-sided tape strips. So you could just double-sided tape on either end and stick it up. Option number two is there are these itty bitty screws. I don't know if you guys can see them. They're right there. And on both of these, there are little screw holes. You can kind of see them right there. You can go ahead and screw them up. And the nice thing is if you ever do decide to remove these, if you want to move them to another car or just want to take them out altogether, you can just undo the screws. They're small. Yes, they will leave a little hole, but it is on the underside of the parcel shelf. I don't know how anybody would ever see it. Nobody really should be down looking under the parcel shelf. I'm actually going to go ahead and screw these in because I think I'm really going to love them and want to keep them on. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to screw them into the car. But real quick on here, I wanted to show you because I just noticed this, which makes me that much more excited for these because they look like super professionally done, which I mean, everything from Norm is amazing. So here we have the light right here and you have a wire coming out of one end going into a female port. This will plug into the wire on the left or right side of the trunk, depending on which side you're replacing. And then the male will plug back into the light from which you got the power from. So super easy to do, doesn't take a lot of time, but you can see like he has these nice, they're like solid channels. And then he inlaid the LEDs and they're like epoxied in there. Like you can't access them. It's like all sealed up. I don't know how well you can see that. Hopefully you can see that. So I'm super excited to get these installed, see how much they light this trunk up. So let's go do it. So I have to be careful how I film this because unfortunately you cannot see what's right there. That general direction. I can't show you yet. It's a secret. It's happening. That's what I have said has been taking me so long. I think right now I'm up to like 36 or 38 hours or something like that on this project. It's ridiculous. I hope you guys will like it, but you got to wait for now. Okay, so this is complete darkness in the garage. I waited till nighttime to film this so we can get the best possible shots. These are with the abstract ocean light. So these are actually pretty bright. I can see everything I need to. There's really not a problem seeing down here too much or anything. If you had some stuff in your trunk though, it would be harder to see anything behind that. So like back here, if there was anything, you wouldn't be able to see behind it. That's what this will fix. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see it's a little tricky to kind of fit back here with a light and a camera. But anyway, here's your partial shelf, your ledge where it actually kind of slides on. You can go ahead and put this just right here can have it forward. I'm gonna actually put mine all the way back towards the rear seats so that it's just set back a little bit more. Go ahead and kind of uh, eyeball it there, see where you like it. And then we'll go ahead and actually pull this fabric out right here. And that way we can route our wire just right down here. Plug it in, should be great. But let's go ahead and screw this one in first. Gonna go ahead and get our little screws. They are very little. So just be careful you don't lose them because that wouldn't be fun. It looks like he did put five in here in case you lose one. So I went ahead and put down my rear seats. I'm going to go ahead and kind of lay on my back to install this. Normally, I don't think you'd really have to, but I want to get you guys a good angle on how it's installed. So that's what we're doing for you guys. So one thing I actually just did real quick, my camera battery just died, is I marked the holes by pushing the screw up through them. And then I drilled a 1 16th inch hole just to help guide it in the right direction. So just FYI, if you need to, you can go ahead and do that. So now we can just go ahead and put these up here. You will just wanna be very careful when drilling your hole, obviously, 
Um, you don't want to push so hard that you go through the top of it. And also, you want to make sure that when you are drilling, you use a, no bigger than a 1 16th inch drill bit. Reason being is you don't want it so big that the screw can't grip anything. Just like that, I don't think it will actually ever probably be seen. Which is even better. So then what we're going to do is just right here is your little carpet. You can go ahead and kind of peel that back a little bit. Just so that we can get to this light right here and run that through there. Don't need to do too much of it. So I'm actually holding the wire inside with my hand. I'm going to go ahead and undo it from the abstract ocean. Holding the plug. You want to make sure you hold it. Stick your hand in here and go ahead and grab that and you can go ahead and just pull it up. And then we'll go ahead and snap it into the female end I had talked about. Okay, good connection. Then we'll go ahead and take the male end and feed that back down to that hole in which we will plug our abstract ocean light back in. So we got that, we'll go ahead and plug our abstract ocean light back in till you hear the snap and that is then done. Then we can go ahead and kind of wire this back in here. Go ahead and push the carpet back and there you go. Complete install. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side real quick. Then I'm gonna show you what the finished install looks like. So all I'm doing here is just pushing up on the screw just to kind of mark it. So again, a 1 16th inch drill bit is what I am using. So drill nice and slow so you don't go through into the top. Now I'll go ahead and tighten that down all the way. Tighten the front one all the way now that it's all done. I do have the subwoofer right here so that makes it a little tight right in here. Just want to be a little bit more careful so that we don't pinch anything. And there we go. We have our light working. We have Norm's light up here. Okay, so here's the after. You can see the back of the trunk is much more lit up. The lights are right here and then right here. So this whole back area is much more lit up. So if you do have an object, say like right here, it will still be lit up behind it. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, the full thing right there. Really happy with these. Uh, they do get a little warm, but again, so do the other lights and really they're not gonna be on that long. So I'm not too worried about that. So yeah, those are the trunk lights from Norm. Awesome addition, really helped light it up. I would say they're a great addition to the abstract ocean lights, which I use and absolutely love those too. I'll go ahead and put Norm's email down in the description below. Go ahead and email him if you want the cubby, the shelf butler, or the trunk lighting. It's great to have and you never know when you're gonna need it. I believe he's gonna be retailing those for about $60 shipped. So just go ahead and email him if you have any questions. Thanks again, Norm, really appreciate it. And now let's go ahead and go inside and go ahead and do that drawing for that Echo Dot that I'm sorry I'm late on. I meant to do it Wednesday, but I, I just got overwhelmed with the project right here now to my left that I've been spending so much time on. So let's go ahead and transfer inside. Ask Alexa who's gonna win that Echo Dot. Okay, so we are back in the basement. I have the video pulled up right here. We have 455 comments out in that one. It was, uh, in case you're curious, the Tesla Model 3, what you need to know, pricing specs, timeline, 52,000 views in two weeks. Killing it, guys. So I just went and counted all of them and not including duplicate comments or all the conversations. There's 286 individual comments. So we're gonna ask for a number between one and 286. See what it goes, and then we're gonna start. See who's the lucky winner. Okay, here we go. Alexa, pick a number between one and 286. Your random number between one and 286 is five. Oh, dang. Wow. Um, so, you heard it here. It's number five. I'll kind of zoom in over here. Let me see if I can turn that. By the way, you guys like my new background? I switched it up because everyone was complaining about it. So it's a Model X. Because one day, I will get an X. So, 
Number five. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five is Matthew Johnson commented Echo Dot. Literally the fifth comment on there. So congratulations, Matthew. I'll be reaching out and let's go ahead and get you an Echo Dot, your choice, black or white. And with the extra one that Matthew doesn't choose, let's go ahead and give that one away when we hit 10K subscribers. So definitely feel free to share, um, tell all your friends about the channel and let's give away some more stuff because that's what I love, it's, it's fun. And I love giving back to you guys and thanks so much for supporting the videos and watching them like you do. You guys have been really killing views lately and I really appreciate it. If you are looking for a Model S or X, you know what to do, a Tesla inventory, link in the description below, check it out, it's our website. And if you are interested in a newer inventory and want to save $1,000 off and get free unlimited supercharging, feel free to use our referral code at the top of teslainventory.com. And in doing so, you will help us unlock certain reward prizes. It's what gets us into all these cool events so that I can go ahead and show them all to you. Definitely a thumbs up if you enjoyed the lighting and congratulate Matthew down in the comment section below. Go and click here to subscribe here for some more videos and I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye. Stay up all night on the town, act like tomorrow just doesn't exist. Time isn't real, ain't shit on my wrist. Let go of everything, then you have bliss. Then she told me this.